California's recall election is just in four or five days. So I can't wait to see what Jimmy Doris put out. I mean, he lives in California. We have a force of vote moment, right? Either Gavin Newsom puts for uh, health care on the floor, we vote on it, or else we're going to go ahead and vote for Vin Tresco. We're going to vote for David Moore. We're going to vote for John Robert Drake or Kapilovich or whoever. So let's check it out. Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore is in California, right? No way. I mean, God, look at all the opinions about everything and anything. No way that he would ignore, like, one of the most important, you know, uh, electoral news in his own state. There's no... Okay, anyways. So Jimmy Dore, the Jimmy Dore Show. Romney wants Afghanistan. Liam Neeson to host Jeopardy. Journalism not a crime, says Assange. Labor Day protest on Capitol Hill. Greenwald owns Bill Maher. Let's see. D Justice Dems taking dark money. Squad won't protect them still. Blaming Susan Sarandon. Biden gives ambassadorship. Bernie rebrands himself. Let's see. What else is going? Cuomo hypes only fans account. Inmates defeat Harvard. Sam Cedar. Even fucking Sam Cedar saying shit. And Sam Cedar, Dave Rubin is all over the fucking place. You sit there and have Dave Rubin fucking goddamn videos all the fucking time. Dave Rubin's about to take your state, Sam Cedar. Jesus fucking Christ. You know? Uh, where else am I going to get my information? Where else can I get my information? Nobody else is talking about this race. So, all right. All right, Anna Kasparian. All right, Jink. Four minutes. What do you say? Larry Elder is the front runner if Gavin Newsom is voted to be recalled. Now, uh, this is a problem because he's uh, a little crazy, and recently he was on Candace Owens' show to talk a little bit about his thoughts on reparations for the slave owners. That, uh, the UK was ahead of us, they were. Do you know that the slave owners were compensated? After they lost their quote unquote property, the government compensated slave owners. I didn't know that. Yeah, and so when people talk about reparations, do they really want to have that conversation? Because, uh, like it or not, slavery was legal. And so their property, their legal property, was taken away from them after the, after the Civil War. So uh, you can make an argument that the people that are owed reparations are not only just black people, but also the people whose, quote, property, close quote, was taken away after, after the end of the Civil War. But the slave owners did get paid by the government after they, uh, you know, emancipated um, slaves. Oh so I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand what point he's trying to make other than appeal to awful racists in the country, right? Like, let's not talk about reparations because if we do talk about reparations, then we'll have a conversation about paying uh, the slave owners. But, but the slave owners did get paid. Yeah. The, the people who were exploited, who were tortured, brutalized, uh, forced to work for free, they didn't, they didn't get anything. I mean, it's just, okay. Yeah, so um, it's called the District of Columbia Emancipation Act. It was in 1862, and it applied to the District of Columbia, uh, but it was really important as a national precedent. And they paid uh, slave owners $300 for every slave after uh, they were emancipated in the district, okay? So the slave owners did get reparations in that context. Uh, in the UK, they paid uh, 20 million pounds overall uh, for, uh, to the slave owners uh, to compensate them for taking their property. Uh, but now the most important point, uh, let's remember that the property they're referring to was human beings. So for example, uh, there's a thousand horrific things that happen in slavery, snatching away people's babies and selling them off, quite literally, right, uh, and, and whippings, et cetera. But one of the things that happened that uh, people don't talk about because it's so horribly uncomfortable is rape. So uh, what they're saying is, well, look, that was my property, and I was busy raping it, and now I don't get to rape it anymore or have it work for free or both uh, most of the time, and so you, I, you owe me money because now, now I'm not going to get to use her body uh, to rape anymore. And that's Larry Elder, an African-American, making that point. Candace Owens is saying that's a brilliant point. I mean, we've got to compensate them. Why don't we compensate the slave owners? Guys, for God's sake, man, is there no bounds to how much you'll sell out, how gross no. you are? No, there is no bounds. Obviously, there are no bounds. Yeah, uh, but no, no, no actual uh, reparations for African-Americans, but poor white folks who own slaves... 
and couldn't use them for anything that they wanted anymore. I mean, they, you get they miss out on the fun of whippings and all that stuff, and, the, and they're not even compensating white people for that. Larry Elder and Candace Owens complain on behalf of the worst people in America <laughs> because this is their racket. This is how they get paid because white right-wing racists love Larry Elder. They love Candace Owens. They finance their whole careers to say terrible things about black people, and we'll pay you. And they go, yes, sir, thank you, sir. And they tell you the slave owners should have been paid, but not the people who were freed, because they're disgusting. That guy's leading now in California. Okay, congratulations, Democratic Party. You're so brilliant at politics. Thanks for watching. The <laughs> where, where were you, Jimmy? Jimmy's friend was with uh, Tucker Carlson, so maybe uh, Jimmy wants Larry Elder to get in there. He's got $3 million house.